All right, welcome to a quick cooking video today. So the other day I bought baby back ribs. I haven't had pork baby back ribs in a long, long time. This was only six thirty-five. It was like two something a pound. So that was really a good price. I thought it'd be a lot more expensive. So this one I just pulled out of the freezer. We're not gonna use it. I bought two of these, you can see. They're in pretty, they look pretty nice. There's a lot of good stuff on there. So we'll put those back in the freezer. And this one I have already prepped. I've already cut it up. I like to cut um, uh, into each bone piece. That's the way I like to eat my ribs. I've already tossed them around in my favorite barbecue. I did not make barbecue because I can't make barbecue that I really like, so. But I can buy barbecue that I like. All right, I've got my sheet pan uh, laid out with, I got some foil on it. That makes cleanup a little bit easier because, you know, barbecued ribs are a mess. And I also got my smashed potatoes working. I just turned that on a little bit ago. Won't take too long. And in this pot, we're going to do the corn on the cob. And unfortunately, I could not find fresh corn on the cob. I went to several different places, burned up a lot of gas doing that, and I could not find corn on the cob. So I got desperate enough to buy frozen corn on the cob because I wanted it. So this is what we got to use today. I, this is half of what I bought. It's not going to be as good as the real thing, but it's going to work. So in this pot, the corn on the cob will go in there. It's only going to take about 10 minutes. It might go a little bit longer. We'll put a little bit of salt, some black pepper in there. And that's probably it. And the mashed potatoes also get a little bit of salt, quite a bit of black pepper, and fresh garlic. I'll be, of course, we'll wait till it's all cooked and we start mashing it together. I could also put in a bunch of cream cheese. That would be delicious, but I'm going to resist that temptation and I'll probably put a little bit of milk in there and that will be my mashed potatoes okay there we go we got our ribs laid out that really doesn't look like too much but I don't eat as much meat as I do of the mashed potatoes and the corn on the cob so just two of these rib bones will be enough for my dinner tonight so as you can see we'll have quite a bit left over not sure how I'm gonna warm that up for the next dinner and as I'm just about to put these in the oven and I'll be taking them out occasionally and brushing on some more barbecue sauce. All right, there we go. Should take about an hour in there. It's basically at 350. So it'll give us plenty of time to get all this stuff going. All right, so I basted those again with barbecue sauce. And I think they're doing really good. I'm glad that this is getting really close because I am hungry. And um, I think my mashed potatoes are ready to drain off. And then take our mashed potato masher and get those going. Haven't uh, started this yet. Got the water going, but uh, you know we'll be doing that as soon as I get this drained. We'll be getting the corn and the cob. So that'll take about 10 minutes. Alrighty, I'm much closer to dinner time. So I just pulled those out of the oven. They were starting to get a little bit more doneer than I wanted them to be. Mm. They're gonna be good, definitely good. Got my smashed all put together. It's really delicious. And now the corn on the cob is in the bowl. It's got about 10 minutes to go. And then we'll be able to fix this up a bit. All right, dinner time has arrived. So I've decided to have about two and a half pieces. There was a small piece in there. Kind of a celebration day. We got a nice big pile of mashed, no gravy. And we got corn on the cob. And I would love to put butter all over that, but I'm not gonna. So there's my leftover stuff. Like I said, I need to figure out some way to reheat that for tomorrow's dinner. We got the corn and we got the smashed. So this will feed me for quite a number of days. And then eventually I'll get to that rack of ribs in the freezer. 
So, hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.